So we are heading over to Fraser Island today for five nights. Um, we have left the caravan at the hip camp that we had stayed at the last couple of nights. So the caravan's staying there and then we're going back and we'll stay there um, a couple of nights when we get back. Um, We did, we went on a big boat and yeah, took the car. Yeah, we slept on it. We did, didn't we? Yeah, so I think we're going to sleep on this one. Too. No, we're not sleeping on this one. It's not that far, mate. <laughs> Get over there. Campsite now. Big drive. Oh man. Yeah, an hour and 17 minutes to be precise. Wow. Island. We just got off the barge and we didn't realize it was immediately like four-wheel drive tracks. So Nick is like pooping his pants because this is the first proper four-wheel driving we've ever done because you know all the gear and no idea. Tagline. Um, so I was like oh yeah the campground's like 18 k's from where we get off the barge. Yep that's fine we'll just nip across there that'll be good. I put it into the map. Oh oh an hour and 20 minutes because yes you know you can only drive a maximum of 30 kilometers per hour um, on these tracks uh, we're currently doing an average of about 18 kilometers an hour so it may take longer um, but yeah it's an adventure we're learning something new and having a fun time darling yeah, yeah. we're having fun that's the main thing day of four-wheel driving today um, we drove all the way up from Central Station where we're camping up to Cathedrals um, Cathedrals Beach um, so that was a lot of beach driving which you haven't really done a lot of before um, Nick learned how to properly use his tire deflator <laughs> and let his tires down properly um, so that made it a, a much smoother ride on the beach on the way uh, on the way home we, uh, it hasn't got any smoother in here though <laughs> but this is like full bloody four-wheel drive tracks that we're on now um, we stopped and saw the Mahino shipwreck which I'll insert some footage here and show you show you um, I chucked the drone up and took a couple of photos of Ted as well um, we actually drove past the pinnacles and didn't really see it which was unfortunate um, and yeah when we got to cathedrals uh, we stopped in there this little shop we got something to eat um, and we eat and drink and bumped into a family that we met at the farm stay before we came over to Fraser so we went and hung out at their caravan had a couple of beers and stuff um, because it was high tide at that point and we just had some time to kill and yeah the tide started going out and we're on our way home now to make some dinner but it's starting to get dark so we may be doing this drive in the dark if we <laughs> don't get back soon. How do you feel about that darling? Yeah sick, sick. Checking off a lot of things on our Yeah, yeah. Popping your cherry on a lot of things today. But uh, yeah, Ted's 
just he's over it. He's got his iPad in the back there watching a movie. I think Obi's passed out within like two seconds of getting in the car because he's so tired from today because he didn't really have a nap. Bless you. Didn't really have proper naps today. But yeah, that's um, the wrap up of our first full day on Fraser Island. And we haven't seen a dingo, but oh, what did we see? Ted, what animal did we see? Bless you. Jesus goanna. bless you. We saw a goanna! A in, like a for goanna. real life goanna. So that was exciting, but yet to see a dingo. Right, well, we'll keep you updated. I think we are going to Lake Mackenzie tomorrow with um, the family that I spoke about before. So we're gonna, hey? The eggs are scrambled. The eggs are scrambled. We've got eggs in the back and they're definitely <laughs> not okay. Um, yeah, going to Lake Mackenzie tomorrow with um, that family that I spoke about, our new friends. So we're gonna spend the day there, have a swim, have a, a play by the little beach there. So that'll be fun. quarter to 11 in the morning um, Friday we have come from Central Station to Lake Mackenzie for the day um, so we're meeting a couple of friends here with their kids um, they'll be here a bit later but I've just thrown the drone up and taken some footage and some photos and stuff um, but it's so nice like it's like the white sand like that east coast of Tassie which is that beautiful white soft clear sand and then the water is just the most perfect blue So it's quite shallow at the start and then apparently it gets to nine meters deep quite quickly um so nick was only maybe 10 meters out then was up to his waist so i have to keep a close eye on the kids while they're playing um yeah it's a nice day it's only going to be like 20 degrees today but like i'm in a bikini and i'm not cold at all like it is nice the water's also apparently like a constant 23 degrees um so yeah you can pretty much come here any time of the year and it'll be somewhat nice what? <gasps> hi bobby what's that what's that There's a big froth boat that's been bogged and blocking the whole way. So we and everybody else down there, everyone's just setting up parking. It's only like 10 o'clock in the morning, but we're all just getting on the drinks and watching this poor <laughs> try and get his boat out of the sand.
this afternoon. It's almost high tide, so we thought we'd come to Eli Creek for a bit of a swim. Um, we'll probably hang out here until the tide comes in and starts going out and then we'll, we'll head back to camp. Um, kids are just having a play there. And um, our friends Cole and Jess ooh, have brought their kids as well and they've got um, like floaties and stuff so I'll, um, we'll probably get on some of the floaties shortly. Oh, <laughs> what a legend. Um, so yeah, I'll probably float down there on a floaty shortly and, and do some recording. Say hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh, Ovi! Having a float, darling! Yoink! He's having a good float. You're having a float, puppy! Was it fun? Yeah? relaxing though. Yeah. So good. I'm laying down and no one's touching me or like talking to me. No one's attached to my titty. This is amazing. No one's clinging to my hip. How oh, good. Oh. How good do my boobs look when I'm laying down like that? When they're contained. When they're not contained, they're in my ah! They're in my armpits. <laughs> I really need, I really should turn around. How do I turn around without? So you can take a peek. So you can take a peek. Whoa, look at you guys. <laughs> oh, no, I oversteered. I oversteered. I oversteered. No! Uh, no! <laughs> having to crack it. Uh, if you want to live, stop Fraser distracting Island, me. Four wheel driving. Alright, we are on our way back to the barge to head back over to Riverheads and Harvey Bay. Let's do our check do a little checklist. Nights spent in Fraser, five. Dingo scene. How many dingoes did we see? Goanna's seen? Four. Four. Uh, saw a rabbit. Didn't see a python. Neighbours saw a python. Um, no, we didn't see a rabbit. Yeah, oh, me did. and Dad did when you were sleeping. Uh, times getting bogged. Once. Beers drank. Many. Fingers nearly cut off by catching a drone. Two. Um, what else can we add to the checklist? <laughs> Crashes, zero so far, but we so still do have 10 Ks. We still got 10 Ks of me driving back to the barge, so yeah, right we'll see. <gasps> see how we go. So no, no promises. No promises. But we've had fun, haven't we guys? Fat lips. Fat, oh yeah, Nick's, Nick's got a fat lip, got head butted by the child. Hi, mate. Mm. Sorry. 
<laughs> but we had fun. Ted, did you have fun on Fraser Island? Yeah? Nick, did you have fun on Fraser Island? Yes. I had fun. I, I assume Obi Sorry. also had fun, but Mommy. he's asleep now. He, he couldn't have as much fun because we couldn't put him down all that often. Yeah. Yeah, darling. You want to do Fraser Island one again? Day, yeah. yeah, maybe one day. Maybe when we go around and finish the lap, we might come up back up this way. When you're a bit older. Yeah? Yeah, and we can do some proper fishing. Like when I'm, like when I'm ten? Well, no, I was going to say more, well, like when you're, when when you're five or six. <laughs> but Fraser Island, it's been a blast. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be fun. Yeah, okay. Off we go to the barge. See you next time. See you next time, I'm